springtime has finally arrived. Took long enough. So in between the snow melting so we can get to stuff and all the shop work I've got going on here lately that you guys are about to see here coming up pretty soon. I was thinking about it and I figured uh, we might as well fire up a truck that uh, is not really shown on the channel all that much. I took the time yesterday to plow up to it with the little tractor so that we can get it out fairly easily. But uh, anyways, this is a 1977 Dodge half ton step side, nice little short bed. And uh, I used to drive this thing all over until I got the red high boy up in shape again. And then of course got my 7.3 power stroke. So this thing kind of just sits around nowadays, but I like to get it fired up and driven around a little bit every summer. So that's what we're gonna do, throw a battery in it and fire it up and go drive it around a little bit. She's got a uh, pretty fancy looking 318 and it's got a 727 automatic behind it. It's been a good combo for me. I've kind of put this thing through quite a lot and it's held up pretty good. So I can definitely vouch for the, the 727. Uh, the 318 likes to drink oil and gas, but I mean, it sounds good. So I'll go grab a battery and probably some priming gas because this thing's always a kind of a pain to get going every year for whatever reason, takes forever to pump the fuel up and prime. So we'll just go ahead and make it easy. So let me go grab that stuff and we'll get back at it. Your typical Dodge electrical nightmare, but we'll go in here and see if she wants to crank over with that uh, set up there or not. See if I can do this without filling my boots up. All right, it likes that. So we'll go back out and prime it up a little bit. And then we can hopefully not listen to that atrocious Mopar starter for half an hour. And she'll be golden. Checking the oil is just a suggestion, but we might as well do it. Oh yeah. Those darn near 10,000 miles I put on this thing and didn't even change the oil, it, it likes that. I think it's even got 1540 in it at this point. Nice little pickup though. You want the door open so you can hear the eagles coming out of the side pipes, you know. Oh, it still wants to be a Mopar, sounds like. There we go. So you talk bad about them a little bit and then they do what you want. Oil pressure is somewhat existing so far. back up so we'll see what she does now these full-time hub dodges of the 70s seem to hook up pretty well and I've tested this theory before in uh, much more extreme conditions so we ought to be fine there's high range that'll that'll give us enough ram jam power to get out of here Tires are all up. We can take her for a little joy ride now.
gotta hear them ponies. Okay, fine, we'll go slow through the puddle. Ah, just kidding. much we can make this carburetor hate life. Oh yeah, what a dog. Big power. Well, it's still running pretty decent. Goes down the road good, shifts nice, about how I remember it. Still the same old gutless 318, but you know, they're not too bad. It's served me pretty well. But uh, I guess we'll just do a quick walk around to the truck, show you guys what it looks like now that it's out of the snow. This is a uh, complete hack job, paint job that I did like four years ago. I just rattle can the thing. Uh, when I got the truck, it was just a, a peeling primer gray, and it looked really stupid. And I just wanted to make it, you know, a color and protect the metal a little bit. And as you can see, she's like a 300 foot minimum paint job because you have to stay on 300 feet for it to look respectable. But I mean, you don't even have to worry about that. And then the, uh, the wonderful engineers at Dodge decided, hey... Our hoods need to hold water every time it rains, so you know that helps as well. But overall, she's not bad. It's uh, It's got some dents and whatnot here and there, but actually the truck itself is uh, really solid. About the only rust is back here on the tailgate, and it's very minimal just on this part here, which that's not too bad to fix. So. One of these days I need to actually dedicate a whole summer to going through this truck and putting it back up into shape, actually sand it down, do a proper paint job and body work and stuff like that. Uh, she definitely got neglected over the time that I drove it too. I mean, I'm pretty sure one side pipe over there is still tie wired up because whoever built this exhaust system, and no it wasn't me, Whoever built this exhaust system just uh, mounted the pipes with solid, you know, metal strips rather than rubber. So they like to break off and then flop all around after that. Which I think this one's loose now too. Yep. But anyways, it sounds good. I mean, it's, it's pretty sporty. Dangling there in the wind. But, uh... The, the step side's pretty cool, a little short bed, kind of classy. You don't really see many of them around. It's usually the regular uh, eight foot bed, three quarter ton Dodges of this era that you see the most of, which of course makes sense because they're all work rigs. But this bed's in good shape. It's got the good old wooden floor in it that uh, somebody kind of did a marginal job on, but oh well. And uh, yeah, I like the little roll bar in it, even though it's not that stout, it looks cool. I never did hook the lights up, though. Rocking the old wagon wheels. Grill's nice and loose. As far as the interior goes, this is an original bucket seat truck. I think they've been raised up a little bit by somebody because uh, the original wheel, I tried to put it back on and then the room between the seat and it are uh, very slim. So that's probably why they put this on it. You know, that's that's a horsepower added wheel, you know. You don't even need the nut to go on all the way to hold it. That's fine. So, uh, what else? 
Yeah, it's got a gold door because before I did the marginal paint job, I put this door on it because it was in better shape. So the truck is a Mopar metallic green. That's what it used to be. Then blue, and then it's got a gold door on the inside. So it's just a mismatch drama show right now, but the way it is sometimes. And uh, this truck had a nice, decent carpet job in it that somebody did, but the brand new windshield leaks. So the water was going down and soaking the carpet. And uh, when they do that, I say no more of that and just rip them out because that, that likes to rust your floor. So I ripped the carpet out and just painted the floor black to protect it and keep the rust from happening. So it's kind of not that great looking in here. Of course, the plain Jane bare minimum interiors that Dodge put out kind of add to that as well, but she's not too bad. I seem to remember the heat being pretty good in this truck in the winter time. And of course, it's got the center console with the storage deal in it so that's kind of neat and then this flips down and the ugly speaker wires and other wiring that the carpet used to hide and now doesn't so yeah she's a fixer upper but she's been a good truck nonetheless i've never even touched anything pretty much anything on it really it's uh it's always worked so can't complain Something else I've noticed, uh, these Dodge cabs aren't quite as roomy as the Fords were of the same era. These like to kind of slant in so much, and when you're leaning out the window, your head kind of hits there sometimes when you're going down rough gravel roads, especially exploring old gold mines like you guys might have seen. Ask me how I know, but yeah, they're, they're kind of a smaller cab, not really a fan of them, but I mean... This isn't a real throwdown of uh, all the brands and their pros and cons, I guess. Just kind of going through what I've experienced with this thing. But uh, anyways, let's see how she starts back up. Pretty respectable. not a very exciting video but good to get this truck out and about a little bit i guess hope you guys enjoyed something a little different other than uh, the old ford content here lately so yeah let me know if you uh you like these old mopars down in the comments and uh yeah let me know what you want to see next we're uh we're getting pretty close to being able to do a lot more variety on the channel like exploring and stuff like that with the snow being pretty well gone at this point so Stay tuned for that kind of stuff. We're going to have a fun summer. And yeah, till the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Link to the merch store is down below if you want to hit up any of that stuff. And till the next one, I'll see you guys later.